You don't get it? You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I think it's a good place to start. Nope. Yep. I just fucking turned this on. Okay, we're on. We're Let's going. Start. Alright, man. Tales McCock Podcast, sitting here with the legendary Oma Bua Ijorigo. How's my pronunciation? That, that was good? great, yeah. And yeah. honestly, Marshall's, you're like the only person ever to call me that, besides like, my mom doesn't even call me that. <laughs> so, <laughs> call my full name? That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, Oma Bua. I know you've explained it to me in the past, man, but like Omo, that's just like a traditional like Nigerian, everyone is. Yeah, so like everyone's Ni- Omo. most Nigerian names have like a prefix to the name. Yeah. So like you may see people with like a name like Omo Bola or Oma something else, but the, the suffix part of it is like the... That's like your name, you know? Okay. And they add like a little flair at the beginning, kind of. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. And that's boys and girls? Yeah. Your yeah, sisters yeah. are all Omo? Yeah, so like, for example, like, I have a sister named Bube, but like, her full name is like Orishe Bube Mi. Orishe Bube Mi, right? That's her full name. Okay. And you know Bao. Bao, yeah. Bao, his full name is Orishe Bao. Oh, I see. So everyone has a prefix, not always an Omo. And, yeah, not always Omo, but uh, some prefix. Okay, okay. Yeah, I see, exactly. I see, I see. Yeah. yeah. Dope, dude. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming by, man. Of course, Appreciate man. Appreciate it. We're past due. We've been trying to do this for how long now? Like, Years, man. Feels like it. Years. Start this podcast with you in mind. Yeah, man. Just got to get to the bottom of some shit. Fuck yeah. Let's get there. R.I.P. Fife Dog. <laughs> R.I.P. Fife Dog. <laughs> I just found out. <laughs> Me and my listeners don't even know. Fife Dog is dead. Yeah, man. Fife Dog. like, not recently. <laughs> yeah, he died, like, he died like a couple months ago, but still R.I.P. Fife Dog, yeah, R.I.P. Prince. Yeah. And everybody's dying, man. It's crazy. Everybody does die. Yeah. How are you going to die, Bua? Do you know? Man, I hope I, like, die, like, after, like, experiencing all the shit I want to experience. That's all I know. All the shit. So there's a, an end date to this, uh, or not an end date, but um, there's a finality to what you want to experience. I wouldn't say that, but, you know. Yeah, you at least motorcycle I, and, uh. Yeah, you know, I got to <laughs> go through all the midlife shit. And, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I keep planning for my midlife. I, I, um, just today, I was sitting over here uh, drinking a smoothie with the Brazilians. Okay. And um, I was like, I think some things I want to own. Yeah, you're like thing, on, on Amazon and shit? No, no, no. Like <laughs> businesses oh, that I just want to like buy. Oh, sick, Like I don't want to like start them. I don't want to be like. <laughs> yeah, you just like, you keep doing what you're doing. Here's a little money. So now gonna, I own you. I, <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking like a dope smoothie place. Yeah, that'd be Because I like to make smoothies. True, true, true. And so I want to spread that to the community. Mm-hmm. And then a movie theater that has a pre-movie smoking lounge. That's pretty prime. Because that's coming soon, right? Like yeah. smoking indoors. Yeah, for sure. But I think it's rude to smoke inside the theater because not everyone wants to do it. Yeah. And like, you know, I mean, like, yeah. it's kind of rude to smoke next to someone no matter what the substance. Yeah. Um, but a smoking lounge beforehand. And it's also smart because movies are always trying to get people to be there early, right? Yeah. That's why they have, like, the pre-show. Like, they have yeah. all those commercials. Uh-huh. and like. But those things suck, man. Have you sat through one of those? I like previews. Previews are chill sometimes. No, no, I mean like before the previews. Oh yeah, that shit is fucking like, terrible. Movie trivia. Yeah, it's like get the like fuck dumb. out of here. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to see that shit. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> but if you had like a smoking lounge with like chess sets and like some tea. Yeah. And you're getting hungry, and then you go to the snack bar. Which uh, you gotta which have. Which is a like the whole bar. point of yeah. like everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. So, I actually had a movie theater idea when I was younger. Me yeah. and my bro thought that it would be pretty cool to have like a movie theater that shows like like major like sporting events yeah you know? dude i've seen the ufc in a movie theater yeah yeah what the fuck who stole my idea <laughs> 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 fucking dana white <laughs> i don't think it stuck around though because it was sick when i did it. i saw it with jizzy jake oh sick, like, sick in college sick. okay dope dope, dope. And we went there and i brought a big jacket snuck in three beers yeah of course saw george st pierre fight damn it sick. was awesome but then my cousin went to another one where he didn't know about it. he just like popped his head in mm-hmm. and said everyone there was just sitting there silent you know, Whereas I was there, Jason, they're going, oh shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, causing a commotion yeah. and like so it you, got people into it. So you said like people were in a sporting event, just like quiet or some shit. Like no, watching the UFC in the movie theater. Uh, 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 yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, the same event that I went to. I see. Yeah. But his theater was like quiet and shit. <laughs> yeah. For people some reason. watching it like a movie. Yeah, I know. It's, no it way. just takes one person, I think, to yeah, just, like, exactly. break that because no one wants to be the first one. And it's almost like a, it's like habit, you know. You go to a movie and you're quiet and you yeah. don't want to have your fucking phone on and shit, but like. Sporting event, like, I always thought about that, but I thought that you'd have to have like different team, like, in different sides. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like if it's like <laughs> a big rivalry, you know, like, like, if you have, like, a, like, yeah, like Celtics and like this fucking theater and Lakers fans and this theater, <laughs> so nobody fucking kills each other and shit. You know? 
<laughs> but don't people kind of like to be like near each other, like to have that like yeah. you mother like standing yeah, up in true, the aisle, true, way, like true. pointing at each other? True. Yeah, I guess you just had to like security or some shit. Yeah. Bro, I know like the closest I thought that I th- one of our friends was gonna get stabbed was when I went on that accounting trip with USD. Oh it was, my like, god! The masters of accounting trip. I was yeah, the when you were abroad. One, yeah, I was the only one there not in the master's program. <laughs> I was just, just like, like, yeah, we're going to Europe. I am. I'm, I'm in. down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm in. And it was during um, the, the, what do they call it? Like the Euro League? Euro okay. Cup? Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Soccer? Mm-hmm. And this is the first time I ever watched soccer. Got really into it. But we're in London mm-hmm. when England was playing France. Okay, okay. And there's one just like terrible human in our group. Mm-hmm. I don't remember his name. I'm not going to say it even if I did. But it, no one liked him. Okay. And we sat down at the pub Got, like, the best seats in the pub. So mm-hmm. instantly we're hated, right? Just because yeah, like, we're there early and we got, like, prime seating. Yeah. And he's there. And he's just, like, an analytical person, knows a lot about soccer. Okay. And so he's like, France is going to win. Like, dude, shut Don't the fuck, fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're in England. Like, <laughs> yeah. don't, it doesn't matter, like, who's the better players. Like, just don't do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and but he kept doing it. And he's, like, trying to bet money. Oh, like, my dude. God. Dude, you're going to get us all killed. And it was a close game, right? It ended yeah. in a tie. Yeah. So it's like, you fucker yeah you know the you know the pedro story right that was a pretty funny one tell it well yeah well you know you know but the fans probably don't so basically we were in, we were studying abroad me uh, and a ton of our friends uh were all together in madrid and we were um at a friend uh, a, a guy who we met he had a bar nearby the stadium and it was el clasico which is real madrid versus barcelona basically the biggest rivalry in sports in the world pretty much like, really yeah it's like huge you know like people don't huh. fucking you know they don't it's bigger fuck. than Yankees, Red Sox in the playoffs. Yeah, it's like they don't fuck around out there. Like, oh, yeah, it's like huge. You know, a lot of violence. A lot of violence. Okay. So basically, um, our, our buddy Pedro is a huge Barcelona fan, but we're in Madrid, like I said, and we're like fucking twenty feet from the actual stadium, watching a game at a bar. And I told him before we fucking got out there, like, bro, I know you're a Barca fan. <laughs> okay? Don't fucking start no shit, Pedro. Like, I'm not trying to deal with no fucking bullshit. And I was like, why is he a Barcelona fan? Like, he's not... Yeah, he's, like, he's, yeah exactly. Like, like, people don't know him. Like, he sounds like maybe you'd met him in Spain. No, that's no. like our buddy from Virginia. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> his name is Peter. Uh, let's be honest. We call him Pedro because he's slight Hispanic. Uh, <laughs> but, um, so, anyways, uh, Pe- Pedro, Peter, gets into the bar, and we have a few drinks or whatever. And Barcelona scores a goal at, like, the 70th minute, goes up 3-1, right? So, at this point... The game's pretty much fucking over, right? Okay. Yeah, and then, like, he goes down. There's a, there's one TV in the bar in front of the fucking, like, in front of the bar. So, basically, everybody in the bar is watching that TV. He goes down there. At this point, he's pretty drunk. And just starts screaming out, Viva Barca! Puta Madrid! Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, my fucking God, man. This is it. This is how we're going and out. And you just, like, put your hat on, put it under your eyes. Like, oh, that <laughs> fucking guy. I don't... <laughs> so pretty much, I just fucking grabbed him and pulled him outside. And then as I'm pulling him, somebody throws a punch at him, hits him. But we just fucking pull. I pulled him out. And, like, four or five other buddies, like, we all just, like, scramble out, getting chased out by Madridians. And we just, it turned into a fucking brawl. Saving him. Yeah, literally Saving turned into a brawl. Life. Literally turned into a brawl outside a fucking bar. And uh, then, like, one guy was like, hey, man, like, you guys are Americans and you're rooting against Madrid. Like, you should leave because if the police come, they're not going to fucking help you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we bounced. <laughs> the police show up, like, all right, what's going on here? He said Barca. Yeah, okay, yeah, continue. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> continue being his ass, please. Can I continue? Just, yeah. No sympathy. <laughs> yeah, like. So we fucking bounced, but that was, that was, it, was, it makes a good story in hindsight. Yeah, yeah I like it, yeah. man. I like it. Cheers, bro. Cheers, man. Sitting here drinking tea on a beautiful day. Came down here to San Diego. It's been a while, man, dude. I fucking miss San Diego. I've been yeah. living up uh, in Orange County for like, what, two months now? Yeah. It sucks, man. Yeah, with a job and shit and like the 401k. Job. I don't know about the 401k. How do I check that? Oh, dude, no, there's bro. so many things I don't know about my job. I don't know what my fucking title is. You don't know what your title is? <laughs> I don't like, know, I just, like... I just work. I just think... Yeah. I think, like, I, yeah, I, I'm due for a raise already. I, gotta, I don't think I gotta, so. Gotta approach that. Gotta, yeah, gotta, gotta discuss go that. Go to your boss. Like, to, uh, I mean, I, I've been here for, like, what? 12 one, days? One month. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've been one month. I think it's time I get a raise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever you're making. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> How much you want? Yeah, Bro, what, when what I went in there for an interview, I didn't know the name of the company. Seriously? And you got the fucking job. I literally, I looked, like, on the wall, like, all right. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, but maybe you don't know, man. Like, I got hooked up with this. This is, like, my dad's buddy from way back. Okay, okay. I yeah, see. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. So that's why it wasn't, like, I didn't have my suit and tie on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I walked in, like, I, I always dress kind of, like, 
kind of well, you know? Yeah, I got, like, a collar yeah. shirt. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't dress up. Didn't have a tie. Yeah, you weren't, like, fucking, like... Brought a resume against... Like, they didn't expect that. Like, oh, they were like, oh, shit. Like, good move, man. You're, good you're move. prepared. Like, a nice resume. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the uh, career services at uh, USD. Got a career, yeah, USD career services resume. <laughs> I walked in there, and they're like, do you know what we do? I'm like, eh, kind of. <laughs> you guys buy houses and fix them up and sell them, and they're like, Kind of. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. Good, good enough. We do. Like, and then got they explained it. it like more complicated, and I zoned out. <laughs> you zoned out? And then, like, there's the like, so what, what do you want in life? I'm like, ah, I don't know. Like, so if you get this job, are you just going to fuck off to Hong Kong? I'm like, ooh, good idea. You're like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> At, ooh, well, Hong Kong, eh, Hong Kong is a little hectic. Maybe not Hong Kong. <laughs> it's a little cold. I don't know. It's very crowded. Just like, Maybe not Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just like tell them whatever they want to hear and shit. Absolutely not. Yeah. I don't want to be here forever. <laughs> at least that's how I approach it. Like. Dude, yeah, that's what I never want to tell anyone. Yeah. I want a career. Yeah. That's like not something I ever want to say. Like, yeah. I want to be an accountant. Yeah. That's who I am. That's who I. That's, that's what who I, I, I want to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's, those are the interviews I had to go through. Like, because I was living in San Diego for six months after mm. I came back from Asia, yeah. and I went to those interviews. I went downtown, went to the accounting firms. Yeah. And they're just like, so it sucks here. Um, you worked a lot. Uh, the pay's not good. Yeah. We have no parking. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, just down yeah. the list of yeah. like everything hectic. And you're just like. So, um, what do you want in your life? Fucking. Not exa- to work exactly, here. Exactly, exactly this. <laughs> I want to <laughs> be, I want to be you. I yeah. want to uh, be you. I want to do what you do I every be bald day. I want to like you. I want, um, you know, you, my posture's too good. I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. Think. <laughs> I think I need to sit in a chair and just get this fuck that's, on my posture. That's what I want. That's, yeah. that's all I want in life. I want uh, a wife who hates me. I want, um, I, I do jiu-jitsu. I should stop that. Yeah, I, should, I, should stop that. <laughs> I have hobbies. I don't know what these things are. Yeah. stop these things. Dude, job interviews hate it when you have hobbies. Hobbies. Yeah, you know, no, it's that? weird. It's stupid. They're like, so that's gonna get in the way, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, you'll probably stop doing that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and that's the good thing about like this job. Do. Like, this yeah. is like a punch in, punch out job. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not. It's an hourly pay. I'm there 40 hours a week. Solid. At six o'clock, I'm fucking out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so that's nice. I got that going for me. Yeah. And everything else, like. <laughs> I was talking to my buddy who does corporate real estate. He's talking about his job, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Oh, it's the best night of the year. We're all they got MMA fights. We're all it's the biggest thing for real estate. We're going to an MMA fight, yeah. but everyone there sucks." And what? He's like, "Everyone in the office is a terrible person," and he said it just like as if I was be like, "Dude, me too." Yeah. Like, what? No, I work with like great people. <laughs> You're like, like they're really nice. Yeah. He's like, "Oh, really? Like you like them?" Yeah. <laughs> You're like. This is new. Uh, <laughs> what, what do you mean? Like, they're nice to you. Yeah, he keeps talking about his life at corporate real estate. Just give, he said, he, right now he gets yelled at, and he wants a promotion so he can do the yelling. Like, those are the only options? Like, someone has to be yelling at someone? Fucking Andrew is a man. man Andrew Morris comes in to save the day with, through a with a bowl, bowl of macaroni. fucking mac. <laughs> Chip, Chipotle mac, pretty much. Fucking the dankness. Yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> man, do the distraction. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, it's not a, it's not like a podcast or anything. Yeah, it's not like we're just doing something. Important. It's not like we're selling this. Should I, should I, <laughs> I, I uh, chay before or after? Oh, we could chay like, uh, yeah, we could chay. Antis. But I guess uh, for people listening who don't know you, man, the the reason that I keep bringing work up is that me and you, we we took all the same classes at USD. We took accounting, yeah. both yeah. majored in it. Yeah. And you're probably a big reason why I chose it, actually. Yeah. Like, I keep, yeah, I keep uh, getting asked that, like, so you have this accounting job, you're not really digging it, you know, it's not really, but why the fuck do you study it? I'm like, oh, I, don't, I don't really know. Oh, it wasn't, like, well thought out. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is kind of like, I lived with Pedro at the time, and he was doing it. Yeah. And I was like, all right. So, I, and, because remember at the end of sophomore year, like, you have to pick something. Yeah, exactly. They're like, just to sign up for classes, you have to put something down. Yeah. And so it was just like, well, Pedro's saying I should do this, and then I guess Boo is doing it, and I don't know, man. I guess I'll change it later. Yeah. But then it became so much fun just, like, having class with you guys. And, exactly. Like, and you didn't have to do homework anymore because yeah, Snipes just... was in my class. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Snipes does all the homework. Yeah. Snipes does everyone's homework. And <laughs> I can only study if I want to. And yeah. I just kept getting hooked up, like, along the way. And, like, yeah. USD, like, our school is a top-notch accounting program yeah, like yeah. all the teachers were dope yeah as far as accounting goes yeah you know for I mean? sure like, yeah as dope as they can be exactly 
Because I talked to people at other schools who took accounting, they're like, it makes no fucking sense. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it made clear sense. Yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> exactly. very clear. Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. And I, and I think we take that for granted a little bit while we're in school. But but yeah, man, I mean, accounting, the way I started that shit was through Pedro, too. Pedro is, Pedro is the master of peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> the master of your he incepted us. He incepted us into <laughs> fucking accounting. And, and he's me. out. And he's out. And I'm working at Ernst Young. Fucking the top accounting firm. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> You're deep in it. Deep in the accounting game. Committed. <laughs> and so that that's an important distinction. So we both have accounting jobs, but you're at like the fucking top accounting firm. I don't know what what quite makes it the top, right? It's revenue or something. Yeah, like. they're just like so. Basically, there's like four of like big four top accounting firms, whatever, they all, like, are, like, multinational and have, like, a ton of fucking offices all over the world, you know, and that's pretty much what makes them the most global firms, right? So there's four of them that are, like, that, like, have that kind of global presence, and the rest of them are kind of, like, smaller firms or whatnot, but, yeah. Yeah, so and that's so why. Th- that's, uh, the trip I, I talked about earlier, I went to Europe, was visiting these firms. Like, yeah, we exactly. Went to, <laughs> dude, we went to EY in, in Rome. And just got like the worst fucking presentation. Like these guys are just <laughs> yeah. like, all right, these students are here. They want some powerpoints. Uh, let's uh, get let's them in give, there. Give them what they want. Oh <laughs> my god, it's so brutal. Yeah. But then there was one younger woman in there. Okay. And so afterwards, she was kind of like sticking around, like not really talking to anyone. Mm-hmm. And we went over like, so so, do you like this? And she like looked around to see if anyone could hear her. Help me. <laughs> That was her look. She didn't say anything, <laughs> but her eyes got huge, yeah. and she shook her head no. She like, wow. Wow. <laughs> she was like... I was like, all right, well, um, nice nice to meet you. <laughs> Where's some gelato? Like, yeah, seriously. Like, <laughs> this is good. Uh, but it's so great. funny, man. Like, it was so interesting on that trip how, like, some people fucking dig it. Yeah. They're, like, accounting, yeah. like, fanatics. Like, yeah. I, I didn't know that was a real thing, but then some of the other guys on that trip, you know, it wasn't just, like, the people in our class. Mm-hmm. Some masters guys who are like in their thirties, like coming back to school, yeah, like yeah, yeah, living out their life's purpose, yeah. And like we went to oh. this thing in, in France. We were talking to this guy who he he wasn't French. He was some, maybe he was American. I don't really remember. Yeah. But then they got in a deep conversation, like, "What? So you live here, but you you work there? What what are your taxes like, man? What are your taxes like? <laughs> yeah, like super <laughs> interested, like, like oh my." God, and there's four of us off to the side, like, yeah, we can drink here, right? You see, he's paying. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, okay. Give me a drink. Like, yeah, I just learned about? how to tie this tie today. I don't want to talk about <laughs> fucking taxes. Like, yeah. I had to work an iron last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. And so it was a cool trip. Oh, I don't know if I ever told you this, man, but Diane Patterson, the legend, yeah, Patterson. she was on the trip with us. Mm-hmm. I heard she gets pretty wild out there, huh? She was drinking. Yeah, she was drinking. <laughs> Like, we, every city we went to, went to Paris, London, and Rome yeah. over the course of, like, 10 days. Like, short okay. trip. Like, yeah, in yeah. and out. In and out cities. Boom, in boom. and out cities. And each time we had, like, a fancy dinner. And each one progressively, she'd, like, split bottles of wine with girls. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. She's progressively she getting full bottles. Loose. <laughs> getting two bottles. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I mean, if we're in France, I hear they got some wine. And she's taking absinthe. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> she's just flaming shots yeah. out, of, out of Jed's belly button. Yeah. <laughs> That would be fucking hilarious. And yeah. even on that trip, Judd, he, he doesn't drink, but he was like, can I pour your beer for you? Like, just literally just like, please? <laughs> I just need to just smell it. Can I like, can I try it? Can I, <laughs> can I pour it for you? <sighs> beer. That's funny. And this is so goofy that like, you know, these professors, uh, you know, Miss Patterson, she's been intimidating. Yeah, she's extremely intimidating, has a little limp, and she's like, very tough lady. Then she turns out to be like super nice once you like yeah. pass her class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once, <laughs> like, once, uh, yeah. once she finds out like, you're not, not an idiot. Once she's not training you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. She's Which like, is kind of like the best thing, right? That's like a sure. kung fu master. Yeah, she's That's like a straight up do. like drill sergeant. Yeah. Yeah. There for a purpose. Mm-hmm. Which I didn't appreciate at the time. I hated it. Yeah, I fucking hated it. That class was still. I remember the final in that class. Like, I remember everybody left and I was still sitting there like for 15, 20 minutes after the allotted time. And I, and I still wasn't done. And I just went up to her and I was like, I, I really messed this one up. Uh, <laughs> have mercy on me. <laughs> like, I fucked up bad. I don't know what's going on. I'm not going to complete this goddamn thing. Like, so, yeah. And here you are in your top accounting firm. Yeah. No, still, to, didn't, still made it to despite this, that one test. To this, to this day, minus the CPA exams, that was the fucking toughest exam I've ever taken. Yeah? 
And here I am not remembering anything about it. Yeah, fuck it, bro. I don't remember anything. Yeah, it's good. I only remember because of how bad it was. Yeah? Yeah, I don't remember any other exams. But I remember that one class me and you and Pedro had. Did we have that one together? The business law one that was like at 7 a.m.? Or no, we had we had another class in that room. I had uh, business ethics with you. Yeah. 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 That, that was with um, the, the younger lady. Yeah, the younger lady. That yeah, was, the UFC fan. Yeah, yeah she's yeah, a yeah. UFC fan. Yeah, she'd bring in like fucking ch- like Chick fil A and shit, or people did and shit. Yeah. Yeah, we'd always like steal snacks from like, remember they'd have like little like leftover from the meetings out there? And just, <laughs> take them into the classroom. Yeah. That was, <laughs> It was dope. Yeah, it was fun. That was a fun class. Dude, that, that class had the weirdest presentation I've ever seen in my life. Remember where the guy just had inf- big inflatables? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. for no fucking reason. Like, in a big inflatable witch. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember, I, I thought he was, like, doing a presentation about inflatables. I completely forgot about that. No. No? I, dude, <laughs> no? I had a couple classes with that guy, and every single time he'd start with the Space Jam song. Oh, my God. Just turn God. on Space Jam, like, uh, for the Space Jam. Oh, 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 oh. All right. And he paused it. Welcome to my presentation. <laughs> like, like, super monotone. <laughs> like he's he's like a, obviously he's funny. He's got like ideas. Yeah. He's not like a good talker. You yeah, know, like see, he's yeah. not like so a funny. It doesn't character. translate yeah. in his like delivery. But that inflatable witch man, like Andrew has it. It's like right fucking there. Like you have it. It's like it's right there. <laughs> Blow that shit up, it's bro. It's in this house. <laughs> like it's not good for a podcast. Like it sounds like a leaf bro. Blower. Hello. Oh. I see. Yeah, I see. But we always like put on like at parties. Like when we lived in OB, we just turn it on. So we had a random. whole light switch dedicated to it. We had a witch switch in our house. Where it's just, it's just deflated, and you flip the witch switch, and it just <laughs> comes like, up and appears. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't imagine seeing that at a party. Be like, what the fuck <laughs> is going on here? That was the greatest when I, when I brought it home. Like, the roommate's like, what the fuck is this? I don't know. He's like, I, there's this kid doing presentations. I had to take it from him. Bro. Can't, I can't see that shit in class anymore. I can't, can't explain it to you. Why, <laughs> why we have this now. Yeah. And my favorite is when Andrew has it now. Because a lot of this stuff in this house is like my old stuff. And so I can come in here when there's people here. He has like GCSD friends. I don't really know. Mm-hmm. And I come in there and ask them like, yo, yeah, what the fuck is this stuff? Yeah. As if like I've never seen it before. And they're always like, I don't he has a know. witch. He has a weird house. <laughs> Very like, weird. You're like, this is <laughs> my a stuff. A little bit weird in here. Yeah, that's my shit, bitch. Yeah. So yeah, so you're at EY, man. How's that going? You've been there for how long now? <coughs> Two years, but um. Yeah, I don't want to talk about work, man. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about something else. It's a sunny day out here, man. It's a nice day, Southern Southern California. My follow-up question is, when are you quitting? Oh, because no, like, because no, yeah. I, I always heard at USD like, get the big four job, two years, yeah. get the fuck out. So what I will say about do you, do you have an exit plan? Um, what I will say is that I'm fucking. That it, it, they work us to death, right? It's funny because yeah. growing up, you feel like, oh, I get a salary job. I'm like making it. But salary just basically means that they can work you as much as they fucking want and you yeah. get paid the same amount. There's no and hourly it, commitment. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, yeah, well, you work 80 hours this week. It's fine. No, but um, anyways, um, what most people say, what I think is like the common consensus most of the time is that you do, you work until you're a senior, until you get a senior position, which is like three years. And the reason why most people do it that way is because if you're working like in the industry, let's say I was just an accountant at like fucking, I don't know, uh, Nike, let's just say, okay. right? Just, just to fucking be random, you know? So if I was accountant at Nike and I came in as a staff account, it could, it'll take me, it could take me five to seven, maybe 10 years to become a senior accountant. I you see. Know? And so at EY, you do three, two, two years, you become a senior accountant, and then you can go to industry as a senior accountant. Right. So right, you like right, skip right, right. six years in the process, kind of. Yeah. That's what most people say. So you get to like a senior and then you reconsider, right? And then you, if you make it to manager, you reconsider, you know? And basically, reconsider meaning that you put in applications and hopefully you get you get a job. But, right. uh, cause like at the end of the day, the job is kinda, it's like you're getting, you're getting paid less because of the experience that you get, right? So like me as a, sen- as a senior account, I'll make a certain amount of EY where if I go to industry, I'll make a lot more, you know? Right. For the I same see. job. And probably even doing a lot less in industry than I do for EY, yeah. you know? But they pay you less because you, you're basically catapulting through the system and shit. So, yeah, man. I mean, so I don't really have a full-on plan yet, but I'm going to start putting applications. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Bites, so we'll see. Hell yeah. It's getting around yeah. that time. Yeah, it is. In your one year. That's sick. Do you want to work at uh, Ocean Development Incorporated? Is that uh, where you work? <laughs> yeah. You got a spot for me, bro? Um, I guess we can invent one. I don't know. Yeah. Get I was like in there. captain of, like, 
of sales and captain and, and, <laughs> yeah, captain of friendship <laughs> and, and bonding sounds okay. like a good title we gotta use some food you should put these on yes can, can you hear it find out let's see if i can hear it i hope, hope you guys aren't hearing me eat right now just <laughs> yeah but we didn't really communicate well with this podcast I, he didn't know he's in for a five hour podcast yeah i wasn't playing on an empty stomach yeah Nice, that's the way it goes. Especially this stuff, tea, man. man. This fucking tea we're drinking. Yeah. This whole uh, box of tea I unloaded upon you. Yeah. How dope is that, though? I'm so lucky. I, I, I was trying to explain this to my buddy with a hectic job. He doesn't really like like to think about like gratitude and a life of abundance. That's like <laughs> all that I've been trying to think about, right? That's all I try to focus on. Yeah. It's just like not getting into like the... Uh, what do they call it? Like a famine mentality. Okay. Like that's when you enough. start like hoarding your stuff. Yeah. And, like ironically into buying more. Okay. Because you think there's not enough I see. around, so wow. you're just like, all right, so I have this opportunity. I got a thousand bucks. This thing costs a thousand. I should get it fucking now. Yeah. You yeah, know, like whatever that manifests in your life as. Yeah. For a lot of people, it's clothes. Mm -hmm. That was like my first thing. I went out and bought some clothes. Yeah. Because really it, it was that. just so interesting, like how my my spending skyrocketed as soon as I started working. Yeah. Like the yeah. moment I was got in the office, I, as soon as I got the job. Yeah. Like before, <laughs> before I you got a check. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, got the job. I need to get clothes. I need yeah. to get shoes. Yeah. So it's, it's crazy. I bought UFC tickets. Those aren't yeah, cheap. Yeah, exactly. 150 a ticket. Bought one for my dad. Yeah. Which is going to be <laughs> sick, right? Like the UFC is like the most fun thing to go to. Yeah. You know, Mandrew and I went to the UFC like how long ago? Like four years ago in suits. In fucking suits. <laughs> You, you guys probably could have got like backstage access and shit if Dude, you just we were, played it right we got hooked up like my dad just through his work like every once in a while he'll know someone in the advertising industry who okay. hooked us up with um what, what, what do you call it we're in a luxury suite in at the staples center oh fucking sick yeah like with a parking pass we parked right by the heavyweight champion holy shit like as we're leaving like the refs are walking by like in their ref gear that's pretty crazy. So sick. Yeah. Like we were there. And we're like, all right. So we start. We gotta start drinking. Yeah. Um, let's see what's in this fridge. Stocked with beer. Go ahead, Duff. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, fuck yeah, man. We got the got the hook up. And looking back, man, it was one of the best night of fights. Like Leona Machida fought that night. Shogun Hua fought. Like yeah, fucking tremendous. Yeah. No Brazilian no. dudes. Okay. I know um, you know the whole background shit. I know, man. Oh, so the reason I wanted you here today, Bua, is you have to fill me in on what's going on in the UFC. I don't understand. What, what the fuck is the UFC? Please start at the beginning. So these guys fight uh, <laughs> a long time ago <laughs> in uh, ancient history. Fucking jujitsu and kind of shit like that. And then somebody thought, hey, we could put this on stage. Jujitsu and that kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> then this Dana White guy came in and said, hey, put this shit on stage. You make a lot of money. So, but speaking of UFC, it's kind of crazy. Um, so I'm hearing rumors that like Mayweather's supposed to come out of hiding to fight Conor McGregor or some yeah, shit. Get the fuck out of here. Man. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't, <laughs> that I don't, makes I don't, so little yeah, sense. That's what I said too. But they're in different sports. Exactly. It's yeah. like saying, oh, like a, a rugby guy's supposed to come fucking s play a football now. It's like, like, I think the only way they sense. could do it is like best two out of three. Like, yeah, like, like they have like a boxing match. Yeah, like exactly. They have an MMA fight, and then they fucking play poker. Yeah, like, <laughs> so yeah, like some random shit. Like, <laughs> they're gonna play rock paper scissors. Yeah, something they know that neither one's done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <'Cause> swimming. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean Mayweather versus McGregor. It just literally doesn't make any sense. I think it's just all like if 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 it ever does happen. Sorry, I'm kind of close. Yeah, you're good. If it ever does happen, it's just fucking for show. Yeah. It's all for show. It's all for money, because it makes zero sense. Like if they boxed, you would expect fucking Mayweather to win. Obviously, you know if they played MMA, like fucking Mayweather's gonna get his ass kicked in like Obviously. five seconds. Yeah, he's gonna take a kick. <laughs> he's gonna take a kick. <laughs> exactly. Like how do you train for a kick? Yeah, but then you, know, you just got hands. the idiot fans like keeping it going. Like McGregor's boxing's pretty good. Yeah, you like, probably take on the greatest ever. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like no. What, what are you the... saying, man? That like, makes no Pacquiao sense. couldn't touch him. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Pacquiao's like trained and he could not touch him. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking it makes, crazy. It makes no sense. But yeah. I, I mean, like, probably Mayweather's coming out of retirement just because, like, he's not that old. He's never taken mm. damage. Yeah. He likes fighting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he he's, makes he's a him a lot of machine. money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think he has many other hobbies. Yeah. He's been doing this his whole life. Like, he's at no, 49 nothing else. No, he's yeah. probably going to get to 50. Yeah. And there's in the boxing world, there's like, I guess, um, I don't know if you know Adrian Broner, but he's like a 
pretty talented boxer as well. Um, taking some losses. He's he's taking some big losses, but um, like getting knocked the fuck out. But um, basically, I guess him and Mayweather had a close relationship, and like Mayweather like talked shit about him. So now he's upset, and he like called Mayweather out after his last fight. Okay. Basically said you got you got to fight me. So yeah, so that makes a lot more sense than McGregor. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> that sounds way more. It's yeah. like that, that's when, probably gonna be his fiftieth fight. When Mayweather and Ronda Rousey were feuding. Yeah. Like, what, what, what would the they fuck? do? What, yeah, would they, what country could they fight in? Like, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> seriously, like what the fuck is that about? They're gonna go fight in Siberia. Like <laughs> you can't do that in America. Yeah, that makes no sense. Ridiculous. They're gonna do judo. Is that what they're yeah. gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Like, Mayweather and a gi. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah. no, no. That's so like, so silly. how did you get so deep into the UFC? I know you've been like a huge UFC fan for a while Bro, now. Because I was doing um, so growing up, I was really into WWE. Yeah, me too. I thought that was the shit. Yeah, man. I thought that shit was real, bro. Really? Yeah, for a long time. Yeah, so that that's the interesting part about my fanhood. Like, I never thought that. You never thought like it was real? I got into it. Like, someone told me. You know, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, pe- it out. yeah. People told me it was fake, but I was like, how is it fake? <laughs> <laughs> how can he See, okay, so give him a stunner point. and him not be hurt? He flew in the air exactly. after a stunner. Yeah, like, he's hurt. That's why he called the ambulance. <laughs> but no, um, so I was told very early on that it's not real. But I think fake is completely the wrong word for what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's, cor- it's, it's, it's choreographed. Not really, though. I, I was about to use that word, but it, it's, it's fixed. Yeah. It's fixed fighting. Yeah. The winner is predetermined. Yeah. But what happens between that's not. I see, yeah. And yeah, that's okay. when it's like, I hate to throw on the word art. But, you know, it, it is. Yeah, yeah, like, it's it artful. Is. Like, how the fuck do you have an emotional fight? Yeah, like, it's the most know. emotional thing. Yeah. It's like, no matter who you're rooting for, he's going to win at some point in the match. <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. Very rarely is it a steamroll. Yeah, and fans and fans fucking go to the shit, and they love it. And Man, I went to it. WrestleMania when I was 13. That's fucking dope. The same guy that I work for now, mm-hmm. I interviewed with him on my 25th birthday. Nice. He got me WrestleMania tickets for my 13th. That's fucking crazy. In Madison Square Garden. That's fucking dope. But, um... But, dude, it's a WrestleMania that's forgotten on history. You mm-hmm. remember Chris Benoit? Yeah. Chris Benoit won the title that night. Remember Eddie Guerrero? Yeah, I remember Eddie, Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero retained his title that night. Yeah. You know what happened to them a year later? What happened? Both dead. That's crazy. That was, the ne- that was the next year? I mean, I might be exaggerating, but... but yeah, they both died. Pretty died, much, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, not... Not long after that, Eddie Guerrero overdosed, mm-hmm. and right. like his whole character was he beat drugs and overcame it. He's like a hero for the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overdosed, they don't talk about him anymore. Yep. Chris Benoit murdered his family. I remember that. So they don't talk about him anymore. Damn. Brock Lesnar's last fight before he went to the UFC mm. was at WrestleMania 20. Mm-hmm. Now he's kind of back, but like for a while they wouldn't talk about him. Yeah. He's their biggest star, and they yeah. couldn't like advertise. That's crazy. Yeah, they just yeah. like fucking cut you off. Yeah, exactly. Vince, like, if you, you turn your back on them. Yeah, Vince McMahon's a fucking asshole. He's a genius, man. He is a genius, though. He's one of the greatest. Him and Dana White, like, yeah. they just fucking turned a business where there wasn't really one. Yeah, you know they, what I mean? like, out of thin air, kind of. Like, wrestling was around before that, but it was all, like, it was all territories, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you had to go to Pittsburgh to see him fight. You had yeah. to go to Tucson to see him fight. Mm-hmm. And Vince was like, well, I'm rich, so I think I'll just own all these. Yeah. Just and, bought them all. And it was kind of like, it was more wrestling back then before wrestling. So much wrestling where you wear the he- helmet and fucking... <laughs> I'm a rascal. <laughs> All right, you can have this one. Okay. You can manage that one, yeah. Right. Yeah. But man, dude, I, I fucking I went to see Raw when we were in college. Yeah. I took Remy for Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, you did. I'm it was fucking. Up. It was so fun, <laughs> man. We got four locos, drank them in the you parking got lot. Fucking four locos. <laughs> so college. For all, the, for all the kids out there, four locos was this gasoline uh, you, in a can, basically. Dude, I'd explain to my coworkers. Because they're, like, in their 40s. Yeah. They're like, what? Like, what, look? Like, what do you mean? But I feel like every generation has, like, some kind of drink like that. Oh, for sure. Like, yeah. like there was one before. It, just, yeah. it would make no sense to us. Yeah, exactly. You would do that? Ew. Yeah. Cocaine. Cocaine. <laughs> Cocaine's all good. Like, that shit fucks you up, man. Cocaine's pretty good <laughs> and cheap. What? <laughs> We're talking about the same thing? Yeah, it's like, crack? It's like when our kids grow up and Four Locos like in gold and like yeah exactly it's like right eighty so, bucks a can. I know right. People take little drink. sips. Like no, but yeah, I remember my first Four Loco when yeah. it was like a fucking Wednesday or Thursday freshman year, and we'd yeah. already been drinking. Like we used to drink for the Jersey Shore. Okay. Like the first season was our freshman year. Yeah. And so we'd get forties, and there's certain like uh, drinks that go along with it. Like they had a duck phone. Every time it rings, you got a drink. Okay. There's certain catchphrases they use every time yeah. you got a drink, and so we're pretty drunk already. 
and Alex Rodell shows up like, Fuck yeah, that. these are girls' drinks. I don't know. Like, they're probably not that strong. Like, just yeah. here, here's a whole can. Yeah. Blacked out, like, immediately. And the thing like, all of us, like, as a group, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. got together the next day, like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> we roofied? Like, we just had one can of four lo- Are these strong? Like, That's didn't know nothing crazy. about, like, percentages or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like, and it was, like, energy, too, right? So it was like. Yeah, back then it was caffeine, taurine, guarine. Yeah. All, and everything. fucking acid. <laughs> Battery acid, yeah. Battery yeah. acid, yeah. Not LSD, but LSD. battery acid. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then they, they changed the formula, but it still feels the exact same. Yeah. Like, I haven't had one in a while. But, um, you, you know, English just chills on him. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> last time I saw him, like, last couple times. Dude, he had it in the daytime. A fucking four logo in the daytime Like, the aggressive. sun was up. <laughs> That's so aggressive. <laughs> a four logo in the daytime is hella aggressive. And, man, dude, did you hear his, like, explanation for why he does it? Yeah, it was it like has, an, it was insane. It, it has like it's better than if he had a, a bottle of vodka. Yeah. <laughs> like, but why? <laughs> like, like, like socially, like yeah. it looks better. <laughs> yeah. What? No. So you're just drinking gasoline because you don't want to have like a bigger bottle. Yeah, I mean, like, that makes sense. That you could share. <laughs> yeah, but for local the day is pretty aggro though. So yeah. aggro, man. Yeah. Can't keep up with these crazy kids, boy. <laughs> That's my dog, though. That's a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. But you, I haven't been drinking much since I started work. Yeah. Well, what's your relationship with that? Because I know a lot of people, they start, like, drinking more or, like... Yeah. Um, I always kind of imagined, like... And you don't have to really answer this or like, name names. But you can if you want. Okay. But I, I always thought that, like, giving a 22, 23-year-old, like, a really hectic salary job mm-hmm. and releasing them on Friday night yeah. is just the instant recipe for cocaine, right? Yeah. Like, you yeah, got absolutely. a lot of money, absolutely. not a lot of time. Yeah. Still fresh out of college. Like, especially, like, like, you know, like, frat guys. Like, we know some of those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who just, like, they want to keep doing it. Like, for good reason. It's fun. It's not yeah. my scene, but, you know, yeah. going out to the bars with a group of girls. Yeah, exactly. If you can pull that off, fucking power it to you. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, man. So that that was always like my thought, and that's why I feel so lucky that like I I do jujitsu on the weekends. Yeah, like it's I like can't some go release, drink. Yeah. I gotta get some sleep. I'm tired. Yeah, and and that's the thing. Like you know, um, I think when I first started working, I would drink a lot, but not like on the weekends. Like drink a lot, but like just like started drinking a ton like during the week. You know, oh, like, really? get home and like cruise like four beers. You know, mm. like do that like daily. You know, something like that. So like basically get home and drink beers or something until I pass out kind of deal, you know? Right. Did that for, like, a few months, six months, whatever. And I was just like, man, this is, like, aggro. Because not only was it during the week, then on the weekends, obviously, you're turning up and you're getting, like, pretty pretty wild. You're drinking yeah. a lot more, you know? So people are talking you into it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you're drinking more, you know, because you only get, like, a day and a half till you fucking work again. So, um, but now it's, like, I, I, don't, I don't really even drink that much. Like, even, like, beers. Like, there's a period when I, I stopped drinking beer for, like, two months but then I started again mm-hmm. so I'm kind of like in between and yeah. how'd your exercise go Exo- you're, you're pretty fit before like yeah I don't want to I know I can see you right now but what are you now 350 400 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean uh well I'm like I'm like two just lie with no camera yeah, yeah I know. you can't see right now but man you've gained a lot of weight man you're fucking huge <laughs> <laughs> but um uh so like the cool thing is like when I first started like my client at the time was 24 hour fitness Oh, okay. So like they were up in like Carlsbad, which is hella fucking far. It's like an hour away from us. And then so since I commuted there all the time, like we worked there and there's a fucking gym underneath us. So instead oh, of just going sick. home, I would just go to the gym. You okay. Know? So I did that like pretty consistently, like maybe four or five times a week just because why not? You know, it's right, right there. there. And yeah. it's either like, I'm going to sit in traffic or just go to the gym, you know? Yeah. And that's then, cool. Yeah. So now it's kind of become a little bit more habit. So I go like three times a week at least. Okay. Four times a week. And you're into lifting? Is that your favorite? Lifting and cardio, playing ball. Okay. Yeah, for, for like more cardio and stuff. Sometimes I do sprints and stuff. Sometimes I try to switch it up and like go on a hike or shit like that. But mainly it's like lifting and uh, cardio. Like, yeah, hiking is always the thing I think about and never fucking do. Yeah, right. It's Even like, like I lived in Taiwan, which is considered a hiker's paradise. Oh shit! It's eighty percent national parks. Damn, that's crazy. Like, I could literally hike to a hike. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's not that hectic to go on one. So we'll it's see. like I could see it from my roof like oh there's the mountain that i could walk to yeah and just never did man like, <laughs> never went once. And i always think about it now like even around here man like there's a lot of good hiking we're not far from the desert yeah exactly there's even like good beach hikes yeah for sure that's the only thing i could i could like make myself do is like i, I would get i go tinder hikes oh shit there's yeah. tinder out there 
Uh, oh, for sure. But I'm talking about like in San Diego, like the past six months when I was oh, living I here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, which yeah. I always thought was like a good way to, like, like a good litmus test for a girl. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, oh, you think you're cool? We're gonna go up this cliff. Yeah. See if you can <laughs> Are you ready to go? Hey, are you fit? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah. see, because like if a girl complains like right away, like, yeah, like, that's a big sign for me. Like yeah. I don't want any part of that. I don't want any negativity in my life. Yeah, I feel you. I want none of that. Mm -hmm. Especially like with a girl, like that's when you I want to see a lot. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And so if they're being negative, it's gonna make me more negative, and like for sure, uh, this is a downward spiral. Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> but my my negativity has been um. It, I've been a lot more negative since I started working, right? Just uh -huh. something about it, like something about just being cooped up all day. Yeah. And the people I'm with. And so last night I came here, I was hanging out with Andrew, and I was just being negative. Worse <laughs> just than, being a more fucking so negative normal. Nancy. And so he tried to keep up, right? He's trying to be a social guy. Yeah. And his, his version of being negative was like, dude, I, I, I had to wear pants the other day. It was hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it fucking sucked, man. I had, to, I had to put pants on. It was, Are you starting to <laughs> Such, that's so Southern California. It's so Mandrew. So Mandrew. Like, can you believe this guy exists? <laughs> nah. <laughs> he just brought me chorizo mac and cheese. Me and, me and Andrew on on good 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 page right now. Yeah, you can't say anything bad about him at this point. No, I can't. Holding and it his looks, bowl. It looks dank too, but I can't eat it on on the thing. So. Are you sure? Oh, we can also pause, man. Like, no, it's it's, there's no real rules to this. No, it's just kind of a good thing. Like, we've been going 40 minutes. Really? Holy shit. <laughs> I thought it was for sure like 20 minutes. Damn. Didn't get to anything we, I want to talk about yet. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's reconvene. Fucking lunch. Yeah. And all my people that's drug dealing just, just to get, get by. by. Stacking money till they get sky high. Ding, bing. Kids sing. Kids sing. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to make it past <laughs> 25. 25. Jokes on, on you. We still, still alive. alive. Throw your hands up. <clears throat> all right. Back to serious business. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hit you at the speed round. Oh, shit. All right. Let's do it. Um, so, wh so what are the rules of speed round for, uh, before we start speed round? Um, does not have to be speedy. Okay. First rule. Okay. Number two. Uh, so I'm just going to tell you something and then see if you agree or not. Okay. So I say yes or no. Um, or and then more words if you like. Or, okay. Um, cool. <laughs> I only have three things to say. Okay, so I'll, I'll add uh, some juice. All right. Everything that happens to you is the best case scenario. I everything. Think, I think everything that happens to you is supposed to happen to you. Okay. So it's your job to take the best out of it, right? Uh, it's like, you know, I feel like, you know, in life you get a ton of lessons, and if you don't learn them, you're going to continue to get those same lessons. So learn it and move on. Do you think of this in like a Christian God sort of, sort of way? Like I think he's of doing it, this? I think of it in like a spiritual sort of way. Like okay. the universe gives you, like, you know, every scenario has occurred and will occur, you know. So it's just like a rep, it's repetition. And it's like you kind of like, you learn it or you don't learn it. And you're going to happen again. You know, wear out your karma. Exactly. Burn it off. All right. Um, two years ago, uh, everything going on in your life is exactly what you wanted. Yeah. Yeah? That's yeah. where you want to be? Yeah, I mean, this is where I, I mean, this is why I fucking did the master's program and started working. I mean, yeah, this is what I wanted to do. I had a five-year plan or so, and it's fucking still going. All right. Yeah. Um, accounting is business maintenance, like plugging holes on a ship. I think it's kind of like, yeah, yeah, I can see that, like, like plugging holes on a ship, yeah. It's like, that's, I think, my job is just... All right, look at this document and make sure we didn't fuck up. Yeah, so I guess mine is kind of like, because ours is like after the fact, you know, when we're auditing, it's like somebody already processed it. Maybe somebody already fucking made, like, broke a lever a while ago, and now we got to come in and be like, hey, in case you guys didn't notice, that lever's broken. There's a, there's a hole in this wall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it, but this wall here has a complete gaping hole. You need to fix that, you know? And it's like, I mean, and then it, you choose to fix it or not. You know, sometimes companies are like, all right, we're not doing that. It's like, okay, well, we told you. There's a hole there. We're just going to document that we said that there's a hole here so we don't get fucked. So when you sink, um, we know why. Exactly. <laughs> and we know we were not involved in the sinking. Yeah, that's pretty much the job, man. Dude, you know, I had a weird realization about, like, why offices are such strange places. Yeah. Here's the weirdest part to me. So you're confined in this small space with people, right? Like mm -hmm. You have a tribe. Mm -hmm. If you look at your office as your tribe, it's the people you spend the most time with, right? Yep. But you're not allowed to touch them, and you're not allowed to be too nice. That's fucking crazy. 
right? Yeah. Like, you're, it, you can't walk in there and hug everyone in your office, right? Yeah. I mean, like, real, like maybe real, maybe that's not a written rule. Maybe it is. Yeah. But, yeah, at least, like, you would stand out. You're like, yeah. well, what's up with Bua? Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. It's he weird. took some ecstasy this morning. He's just <laughs> hugging everyone. It's like, no, I'm just in a good mood. It's like, I just, I, I like you. And, <laughs> yeah, You sure. know what I mean? Like, I got in the habit of, like, telling everyone... Um, that I love them. Like I, I, I try to do it all the time. Like hanging yeah. up on phones. Like yeah, yeah, all. Of I, that. I think it's like a good practice. Absolutely. Especially to your friends. Like mm-hmm. especially if you mean it. You know, yeah, I don't say yeah. it to anyone I don't like. Exactly. But um, I guess I should start saying it at the grocery store. That's a good that idea. That would be funny. That's a good joke. Yeah, because I do like my good grocery store jokes. And people just put you in that. Put people in the weird position. Like uh. Um, well, have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, well, bye-bye. But yeah, man, it's, it's so strange. You're in this, sitting in this office with these people. And, like, yeah. I actually do love the people that I work with, right? Yeah. Like, I, I want the best for them. I want nothing bad to ever happen. Yeah. And yesterday, this woman was sick. And she like, has, like, she's kind of struggling. I want to just, like, like put my hand on her back. Yeah. Like, you're all right. <laughs> and you, like, stopped halfway, like, Ugh, no. I can't. <laughs> I stopped, like, eight steps before that. Like, <laughs> I should t- Oh, no. No, no, that's probably a bad idea. That's a uh, well, bad on these cameras. Yeah, I know. It's, it's so stupid. It's it's dumb, you know. I think it's cultural, obviously, but it's just dumb. Like, the workspace does not have to be a specific way. And that's why it's kind of cool that, like, there are all these new kind of companies coming out with different, like, cultures, you know. Like, a lot of these, like, tech companies and stuff have, like, a lot chiller culture. It's not so, like, status quo, you know. You worked in some of these places? Uh, into it. Into it was yeah. pretty dope, yeah. Into it had what they call the inspiration room, right? Mm-hmm. That you could work out the inspiration room. It was a fucking game room. <laughs> <laughs> it was a game room. It had fucking uh, like air hockey and ping pong tables and like coffee and soda and whatever the fuck else you need and like a big ass TV. We were, I remember we were watching, uh, there was like, I think that was during the 2012 Olympics. We were watching like some of the games and stuff like there in the fucking inspiration room, getting inspiration. Dope. Yeah, like that's fucking dope, you know? Yeah. It was a different culture. I mean, like in the company, you know, it's like, into it, you probably you can walk around high fiving people, and nobody would fucking. Maybe they're programmers, so they're a little awkward, but nobody would fucking be upset. <laughs> it would be upset like at my job. Like what? Yeah. What? You t- what? Yeah. <laughs> like eight wires in the maybe. Yeah. Somebody's phone is going off. And somebody's getting knocked off. Oh shit! Yeah, friends are here. Um. All right, man. I don't know if I have anything else to say. Uh, love you. Thanks for coming love on. Love you too, dog. I wish I could have gone a little bit longer, but we invite these friends over. and yeah. be friendly to them. Exactly. Yeah, but hey, be too rude. Like, the first... Can you shut the fuck up? We're having a podcast. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, this is the first. You know, we'll, we'll have a repeat. You know. Yeah. We got a lot of episodes coming up. Dude, so. I just been slacking so hard. Costa Mesa, no one wants to be on the podcast. Yeah. Colin doesn't want to be recorded. Uh, Rex is just on an opposite schedule. Yeah. Morgan's just like married. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's just different it's vibes. Hectic. Yeah. All right, bro. Yeah, Let, let's. Uh, wait, uh, they're not here. Oh my god! <laughs> Who the fuck is these guys? Hey, man. All right, end of the podcast. Sales Macaque podcast. Murilo. Murilo? Nice yeah. to meet you.